Hello and welcome to Moving Pictures Kenya. My name is Bonventure and today I have a special story for my friends in Ghana. And thank you for subscribing to Moving Pictures Kenya because here at Moving Pictures Kenya we tell the African story. As the sun began to set over the picturesque town of New Salem, a sense of anticipation filled the air. The winding roads meandered through the beautiful residences, creating a serene backdrop for the evening's festivities. As I drove through the quiet streets, I was filled with excitement at the prospect of attending my first ever Ghanaian baby shower. When we talk about baby shower as an African, you know what I mean? We do everything. You know, the gender review, um, the eating, of course, you know, the African foods that we eat out here. Um, we expect everyone to be welcome. Um, all I want to say is that we enjoy it. Baby showers in America are one of the beautiful things that we do. Uh, it's different from back in Africa, how we do baby uh, showers, you know, I mean, how we call the elders to see it and all of that. But this is when the baby is now about to be born. We call it a baby shower before the baby is actually born and before we have baby dedication. As I drove past each house, I couldn't help but admire the architecture and the charm of the New Salem neighborhood feeling a sense of peace and contentment. It's not just baby shower like Christmas, Thanksgiving, our home is always welcome. We have a lot of friends in New York here and we have our church too, our church members. So birthdays, Christmas, occasions, people, and this is just uh, maybe half of what we are used to hosting. Sometimes you come and all the streets are full of cars we get the house full especially during the summer we have a very big yard so we put tents at the back and we host lots of friends over here so we are we are always okay with people coming into our house as i approached the residence my thoughts reflected on the upcoming celebration the idea of joining the expectant Ghanaian couple in their joyous occasion filled me with a sense of happiness and the connection to the Ghanaian community. I, it's always, uh, my house is always open for people and this is even a small crowd like during Christmas and like Thanksgiving we have like a bigger crowd here and my house is always open for everyone and my husband, myself and my kids are always happy to have people in here. So it's something we've been doing. So. Because it's nice seeing everybody, socializing with everybody, yeah. As I entered the residence, the lively chatter and laughter drifting through the air signaled the start of the Ghanaian baby shower. Hello! Hi! God is good! All the time! All the time! All the time. We thank the Almighty God for today. Uh, we know and we believe that in God's calendar, God knew that today all of us will gather here and celebrate something. I hope you know, but make your mind, you don't know why we are here. I'm going to tell you why we are here. Um, if somebody becomes pregnant, we believe, I believe that God has shown mercy and favor and God has glorified that person. So if God has glorified that person, how much more we human beings. So we are here together to glorify and celebrate a pregnant woman. And who is that? Our sister Sarah Anamko. So we are all here to celebrate, to enjoy and happy with her for whatever God has given to her. And lastly, we thank everybody. Thank you so much for taking some of your time to be here. God bless us all. It was a moment of coming together, of sharing in the excitement of new life and the beauty of different cultures intertwining. Hello, my name is Comfort. Um, we are here gathered in uh, Ken Richard Court in a celebration of Sarah Anafo. We are here to celebrate her um, 
baby shower today we have friends and loved ones inside the house having party so many games inside so we are here just because to celebrate uh, Miss Sarah Anafo baby shower. Thank you. Is this how it's done in, in, in Ghana or this is different? This is different. In Ghana we don't have baby shower but we have baby um, naming ceremony and baby, uh, baby dedication. We don't celebrate the person when the person is pregnant. But here in America they celebrate the person when the person is pregnant. And we do this before the person gives birth. So it's different from Ghana. I think it's their culture. Yeah, it's a culture oh, here, Americans. but we don't do the Ghanaians don't do that back home. But of now, late. yeah, of late because of culture uh, being diversity in other places, I've heard that some Ghanaians are also doing it, but it's not our culture, it's American culture. It's not common as compared to the people here. Inside the residence, the Ghanaian couple expecting their first child in America were overwhelmed with joy as they expected to welcome their little one into the world. I'm Sarah and today is um, a surprise baby shower. And I just want to say I'm happy. Come here. This is my husband. Go! <laughs> I just want to say I'm just excited. Yeah. And everybody is excited too. So that's all I have to say. The cozy venue was filled with the rich aroma of traditional Ghanaian dishes lovingly prepared by the community of Ghanaians living in the USA. The colorful jollof rice, spicy kelewele, and sweet fried plantains delighted the guests as they mingled and shared stories of their homeland. As much as I admired the food, I couldn't dare touch it. This is because I feared the pepe. Ghanaians put a lot of pepe in food and unless you are prepared to cry, you never dare touch. It doesn't mean that the food has anything wrong, but when you touch it, the food will give you a reason to cry. The last time I touched a Ghanaian fufu, it was full of pepe and I shed some tears. In Kenya, pepe, we call it pilipili. Pili. And I also noticed a kind of food that we also have in Kenya. We call it mrenda, but I think the Ghanaians call it okra. Yes, I'm Emmanuel and Chris and the wife they are part of our church, so we are here to celebrate them, to show our love and appreciation to the family. Today's gathering has been one. This is my first time doing it here, so uh, we are really enjoying the time. I came with my daughter. You can see she's energetic. So, yeah, we can say God, we said God, God's love to you and our love deeply to you, and we are behind you. We pray for you too. Thank you and God bless you. Among the festivities were unique games that brought laughter and joy to all. One game involved guests estimating the size of pregnancy using strings, creating a lively competition full of teasing and laughter. Hello, I don't need any talking about pregnancy now. Don't you? So I don't want to. What's my deal with me? 
So we, we are proceeding. Please, we, we would like to um, have three volunteers. Another game, a playful twist of tradition. Head blindfolded women attempting to feed the men without missing their mouths. A hilarious challenge that sparked fits of giggles and cheers. <laughs> Um, Simon um, and here is Josephine all right so uh, today we came for a baby shower and it was a nice program the attendance was very massive and the love showed was very massive um, at, at the end of the day we did uh, a game and somebody won the game so when she won she handed it over to Josephine here yeah so um, everything was okay and everything was good so but just spin by handing over that uh, winning, what does it mean for you? Okay, so we did a game by measuring, um, you take like um, a, either a thread or anything and then you measure the belly of the pregnant woman. So after she won, she dedicated the award to me. That is her saying that 
she is done giving children so she is giving to me that means i'm next in line or yeah it means that i'm next in line or oh, yeah something like that so so are you next in line or so she was just joking? i she was just taking i received it in faith though as the evening unfolded it became clear that this heartfelt ceremony was a fusion of cultures blending the customs of Ghana with the warmth of American hospitality. It was a proud moment to honor their heritage while embracing the new chapter of parenthood in a foreign land. <laughs> And the Ghanaian baby shower stood as a testament to the love, community, and the joy of new beginnings. A celebration that transcended borders and brought people together in the spirit of family. My name is um, Euphilos. I'm from Ghana, West Africa. Then I've been um, living here since 2014. I came here August 2014, so I'm in my 10th year now. Um, yeah, that's it. And about today's uh, function? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great show. And then I must say, she deserves it. Like, you know, it's tough to be pregnant. Uh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, problems you go through throughout the nine months journey so I think um, it's, it's a great um, show for her and then I think she's happy she's appreciative and then um, I think uh, by his, her due date God will deliver her safely and then I thank my brother for doing such a great show for his wife and everybody who came has been successful and then apart from being a baby shower uh, I think it's a good time to meet uh, friends and families, those we've seen for a long time. They all came and then uh, it's been a happy, a happy event and a happy show and then I'm also happy, yeah. So yeah, it's been a wonderful day. Um, though in a chilly weather, but it's, it's been an awesome day and it's a very special day uh, for me and my, uh, my partner. Uh, we've been blessed by God. God is good in all things. Uh, he makes the impossible possible. So see, uh, when we were planning about this program today, it was all ahead of. But with the amount of uh, gifts and visitors that came around, it's been a wonderful uh, outcome. Outcome. My my entire family, uh, my uncle, my sister, everybody around here has been really really helpful, and it's been a wonderful day. So we give all the glory and the thanks to God for making it come through. Thank you. So what does the baby shower mean for you? Uh, <laughs> on the fun side, uh, speaking from a man's per uh, perspective, it's, it's going to be like, uh, it's, we don't really need it, but hey, uh, to the lady, it's a big, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very big op opportunity, uh, a stage in life. So she experiencing it makes you the man have a quarter of the of the experience she's feeling, and then uh, it's really uh, a woman. Yeah, but I saw you are more excited than her. Uh generally, <laughs> I mean, that's why I say it's, it's all a blessing. You see, it's all a blessing. So when it happens that way, all the joy comes in like that, and it's pretty good. Yes. So what is your message to the people in Ghana? Because I know most likely maybe this is different from the way it's done in Ghana. Yeah, I have never witnessed such a program in Ghana before. So I would say everything goes on God. If you put up to God, God will surely make a way for it to be possible. To, the, to those expecting, just to rely on God, God will make it. That's the best I can say.